Welcome back. Um, I'm Representative Patricia Morgan, and I'm here with Dexter Liu, who is a citizen of the United States, right. used to be a legal immigrant, and a legal immigrant, <laughs> <laughs> right? Um, and we've been talking about um, illegal immigration and its effect on on our country, on our legal immigrants, on our illegal immigrants. And and it's just it's just a damaging it's damaging all around. Right. Right. Um, but lately uh, we've been having a lot of rallies up in the state house. Um, Governor uh, Raimondo has promised or in order to get elected she promised to give driver's licenses to illegal immigrants. So people who have come here without permission, um, she wants to give them driver's licenses. You have any thoughts on that? It's a big source of worry. Um, I mean, we have, a, shall we say, a, a, we have a, we, we have a public discourse that is so uh, divided in this country today. Uh, we're right in the midst of an enormous election cycle, uh, arguably uh, one of the most important in our lifetimes. Mm -hmm. uh, this country, to those of us who uh, have been paying taxes and been good citizens, uh, law-abiding citizens, we're concerned about where this country is going. And this is an example of uh, corrupt public discourse, which under, in my view, uh, false pretenses, uh, legitimizes something uh, that is a privilege to American citizens. Yeah, it should be a privilege. It is a privilege. To access our schools, our driver's licenses, all of the services and... Correct. Uh, those are privileges of citizenship or legal immigration. Right. And legal residency. Well, you wouldn't issue a driver's license to someone who hasn't passed a driving test, right? Uh, you wouldn't issue someone or afford someone uh, the privilege of being an American citizen without having gone through the citizenship test uh, successfully. All of the requirements All as of the well requirements. as the test, sure. How then can we be assured uh, that someone who did not come here legally uh, will follow all of the rules, in, indeed the rules of the road, as well as the rules of this country, the law of the land, um, and what kind of problems that might create. And, and I, I know I've heard, you know, again, uh, this is obviously, I might be vilified for it, just like those who speak up about this issue and say, gee, you know, you just don't understand the, the, the circumstances of these poor people. They just need to get to work. I get that. But the point is, if you came in through the front door, you're willing to do the heavy lifting and actually go through the entire process. Of course you deserve a driver's license, mm -hmm. just like any other legitimate permanent resident. But for our governor to suggest that, okay, forget the process and really have essentially a privileged class, undocumented privileged class, be given essentially a privilege, it's offensive. It really is. And, and I, but I don't she cites safety concerns that um, if we give them driver's licenses, they'll all get insurance then. Really? That's how what we, she says. How will we assured of that? <laughs> you don't seem to believe her. Um, yeah, I, I, think, I think she misunderstands even the process of getting a driver's right. license or a car registration. Right. You don't need insurance to get a driver's license. Well, philosophically, if I disrespect the law by coming into this country, what is going to give uh, my neighbors the assurance that I will obey traffic laws? Sure, the rules of the road. Exactly, but but you know, I mean, she she uh, she states, and she had the state police state. Oh yeah, it'll be safer with everybody with a driver's license. You know, you can get a driver's license without having insurance. Mm -hmm. The truth is, it's a driver's license. You only need insurance if you got a car. I have a question. And you register that car. You have to Correct. prove then you have, have right. insurance. That's right. 
My question is, and I don't, I really, I'm asking. You expected me to answer it, but well, go no, ahead. I, I don't know, maybe you <laughs> can. I'm the one asking. Okay, well, I mean, on the topic of uh, uh, driver's licenses and, uh, uh, you know, registration for driver's driving permit and so on, um, isn't this a uh, mechanism by which uh, those of us who are citizens vote? Yes. You vote uh, many times to get other privileges, Correct. access to other things, Correct. the driver's license is what you use, Correct. right? Um, and there's the other slippery part of it. You show up to vote, you have a driver's license, Correct. that's all you have to show. So but if that driver's license is to an illegal, right? And you know, I, I, I worry about that because I really worry about the integrity of our elections. Of I think that's really, really important. It's critical. Um, it, it would appear to anybody going up to a table, all right, I'm showing my driver's license, right? right? So any, any onlookers not looking at, they, they say, oh, well, we'll make the driver's license right. look different. But if somebody is sitting at that table, some operative is sitting at the table. They're volunteers. They're volunteers. They're going to say, right. okay, driver's license, check. Right. And the person gets to vote without having assimilated, right? Without having become truly American well, in their heart and their minds. Well, illegal uh, person or person who's not legitimately in this country should not uh, have the vote. And in fact, people who are legitimately in this country with a green card cannot vote. No. So, again, maybe to your point, cutting in front of the line. But but it corrupts our electoral system. I it, mean, immeasurably, it and it's dangerous. And unfortunately, as our election laws are now, we can't make people prove that they're citizens. Well, see that that's a whole other discussion. Of course, that's a whole other discussion. <laughs> but you got a driver's license. Right. You got a photo ID. You get it whether you're here legally or not. Yeah. Now, is it supposed to be marked, sp specifically marked? And of course, it's not going to be a big color because, I mean, obviously you will offend someone's sensibilities by pointing out the fact that they are not here legally. Or well, there's, I'm sure they're, they're going to say that there's going to be something on the card that makes it clear to everybody that they are here illegally. How but clear? <laughs> it's how clear and, and will it be effective to stop voting? Right. which is a privilege, right. a, a sacred privilege in my opinion. Absolutely, yeah. Um, but, but all of the arguments that they're putting around it, that it'll make us safer on the roads, I don't see how that is. Having a car doesn't make you a safer driver. Mm -hmm. It doesn't make sure that you have insurance. I mean, we have, we have citizens who have driver's right. licenses who don't have insurance because right. they buy it and they drop it right away once they register right, a car. Right. So it, the whole safety concerns, I think, is, is a falsified argument. Well, but it, then the it, voting. It's part of the dishonest discourse, I hate to say. And that's how I see it. Dishonest. Yeah. Um, and then airport screening. You need a driver's license right. to get on a, on a plane. Exactly. Now, not that I think every illegal immigrant's going to blow us up, but how do we know? Right. Right. So, um, all right, I really want to thank you for coming and talking about this. This is a tough I issue because I think people who really want to get to a to, to some kind of a, a, a ground where they're saying, come legally, right. come all day, come legally, but don't come illegally, are demonized. Um, and that's just wrong in our culture, in our society. It's about the rule of law, and it's about respecting that, and it's about doing it the right way and Absolutely. protecting what is uniquely American. Um, and I thank I you agree. very much for coming and, and talking with Thanks us. Thanks for it. having me. Okay, thank you. Yeah. And thank you.